What's up guys? This is Miss T Lovely coming at you with the video and I'm coming at you guys flaws and all. I'm not putting no makeup on. I'm not going to make sure my hair is all perfect. <laughs> this is a response video. You might as well call it a let's talk video because I feel a certain type of way about it. And there's going to be a lot in this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm letting y'all know in advance. To my new subscribers, welcome. I appreciate you for, for subbing and um, showing a little love to Miss T. Now, I don't know where I'm going to go and none of this plan, but I do have something, I, some things I want to talk about. First of all, I can't get into this video without catching you guys up. Oh yeah, it is a response video. I can't get into this video without catching you guys up on what's been going on with me. Um, I have to be honest, I took some time for myself um, over the last week because the last video that I posted was up for a week now. And in the 44 weeks I've been on YouTube, I've only been absent so to speak twice um and this is this is this is number two um I, I did talk about it a little bit in my group but i have to be honest with you guys i was upset because my last weigh in i had lost 5.6 pounds and i don't want anybody to give me any feedback i'm just not ready this is something that i can't be giving any feedback on or any encouragement i don't I don't need it. I'm just telling you guys in advance. I'm just sharing with you what's going on because it's always who I've been. That's always who I will be. Okay. With that said, um, started my cycle early and the 5.6 pounds that I lost, I gained back. And I have to be honest with you guys for a person. I worked out six times last week. Um, you guys know I lift heavy, but I don't look at that. I looked at it as a complete and total like stickler in my my journey I was really upset because I'm like I know that I've done nothing to gain this weight like what in the world I know it was water weight you know but instead of me seeing it as that you know for the first time I went into my head because I already had a lot going on because you know for four months I've been having people jab at me jab at me for the longest time and um, it finally penetrated me and I finally let it get to me you know you know the saying goes my good friend said this to me she said a person who breaks down is a person who has been strong for too long and this is so true you know I'm a strong person but I have feelings and I have emotions and I've kept it nothing but 100 with you guys and that's exactly what I'm gonna continue to do all day so real that man breaking out and I'm on here I'm putting up a stand around all night but none of that on but I'm here anyway um I said I like to say you know I was upset so I needed to take some time for Miss T I'm still in my group, you know, I'm still hitting the gym, I'm still doing what I gotta do. But I'm like, I had to assess. I'm like, I, I'm gonna, I was letting it get to me. Cause I'm like, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. But um, this is a part of the journey. Two of the five pounds is gone. But there's, I also didn't come want to come on because the next video that I made, I, I make is gonna be one that's, that's, big for me and you guys will see it when you see it but I, I didn't want to I made the decision I was like I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do another video until then I'm just being honest because I'm in my group every day my WLS WL accountability group um, I still have 50 spaces, 50 spaces open so if you want to join feel free um, comment below if you want to know more about that but anyway so yeah I was upset about that and I knew that nothing could be said to me nothing could help me but me getting on and then just just dealing with it my way and you know I had that right I had that right to step away and say I'm gonna take care of me you know sometimes you have to be that way and you just have to I'm not a selfish person I never know how to be that but even in, even in taking care of myself I've been there you know I've been posting like I said in my group and all that etc but that's not what I came on to talk to you guys about but I had to tell y'all what was going on with me before I can get into that so anyway um I'm calling this video lap band surgery any bariatric surgery where the rubber where the rubber meets the road okay and if you watch up to this point i'm good if you've already if, if somebody's already left you just won't hear this part but anyway i i'm coming on here especially with what i'm going through to let somebody know who has this misconception about the band this band is not the end all to your journey it is not going to get where you where you it's not going to get you where you ultimately want to go let's just be real at the end of the day i have 198 pounds to lose yes that's two little people i have that much to lose 
So if I honestly go in my head and say my band is going to do all the work, or if I went into that with a misconception, I'm going to be in trouble. And that's why a lot of people don't, they stop making videos and they walk away. And I'm not speaking for everybody and everybody ain't going to like this and that's fine. I'm going to leave it open for y'all as I have. I'm giving y'all the choice to dislike my videos. Mm, y'all can dis I don't care. Anyway, I'm just being real with y'all. Um, it, it comes a point in your journey. I don't care how strong you are, how, how gung-ho you are, how well things might have been when you began or not so well at the beginning. There comes a point where you have to say, I don't care what comes, come hell or high water, and forgive me, but that's the term, that's the only term that comes to mind. I have to do this myself. This ban is not going to stop you from eating. I don't, it's not going to control your mind and emotions. You know, the very cliche saying, we had this surgery on our bodies, not on our brains. I'm, I'm sorry, like... And it has nothing to do with your size and how heavy you were when you started out. I'm sorry, it has nothing to do with that. I was never a sedentary person. I was never a lazy person. Even at my heaviest weight, I was getting it in. But what was I doing wrong? I was eating the wrong things. I was eating things that were high in caloric value. So, you know, now when I when I see that I'm eating well and I'm working out and I have gained, yes, that's going to make me happy. Um, but even more than that, I, even as a person like me, I'm getting on here in hopes that I'm helping somebody else. I don't have to do the videos and all that stuff like that. But anyway, um, how did I veer off? Forgive me. It comes down to this. This van, it really is, and you know, it really is a tool. And people who are successful are people who have said, I'm going to do what I got to do to get where I got to go. I'm not going to see the temporal. I'm going to see my goal. I'm going to see, in a spiritual way, I'm going to see the eternal. What you see is subject to change. So, but you have to put the work in. That's why I was saying. That's why I'm so many people walk away because once they see this ain't an easy feat. And then there's a lot of people in this community that are, are that are successful. A lot of people. But they said, "I'm a." Do what I gotta do, even gastric bypass. You know, gastric bypass and lap band, believe it or not, at three years, have the same weight loss. You know, so you can't, I've seen people look at people and say, oh, I'm upset because I'm, I'm this many months out and I've only lost this much. I've seen people who have been out for a long time, been out for a year, this is not even long, I haven't even been out that long, I've been out 10 months, and I only lost 15 pounds because they thought the band was gonna work for them. They thought the band was gonna do the job. And, and here I am, I'm 90 plus pounds down. I don't even know what my weight is. I stepped on the scale this morning and it's fluctuated, so I don't know what to tell y'all. 281 or 284, you know what I'm saying? And um, I was 281, that was my original weight, but I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I'm, what am I saying? This is not easy. It's not easy. And to, the next moment is not gonna be easy it comes down to making your decision to say this is my journey and I have to own it and I have to watch what goes in my mouth and I have to count calories and yeah I don't like it and then you know right now I'm doing a five day pouch test to give myself a break from even counting you know there are ways for you to you know I won't say get back off track get on track because you haven't fallen off but there are ways for you to give yourself a break so to speak there are ways and you know Period, point blank with this video I'm saying. Don't expect your surgery to do it for you. It's just no different. And this has been said before, so I'm not really saying anything that somebody else hasn't said. Don't expect a miracle to happen. You have to perform it. So show up in your life and just do it. And I'm not just talking to anybody else, I'm talking to me. And I'm sorry if it comes off harsh, I'm just keeping it 100 because people who get these surgeries and think that this is this is it, they they they, they become very unhappy. They become very unhappy in their journeys because they realize, gosh darn it, I got another thing where guess what? I gotta work. Work it, own it, and share it all. Don't be ashamed. 
For example, last night for the first time I was very upset. And it's the first time this happened in 10 months and I found myself at the store. But I couldn't buy anything that was a large quantity and I was so proud of me that cause I didn't even know my own strength. I didn't know my own strength and I'm like, I walked out of there with a coffee, this little mini, about this big carrot cake and a little taki package. And I ate the Takis, the 170 calories. And the carrot cake, I bit into it and I didn't like it. It was that mental and emotional thing that we have that says I want and that, that, that battle we fight. This will always be a battle you fight. I don't care what surgery you have is what I'm saying. But the person who is successful is, is a person who knows that, is a person who says, I'm going to let myself cry. I'm going to let myself feel every emotion. I'm going to let myself feel it. Oh, God, y'all. Forgive me. This ain't easy. It's not an easy feat. And it's not coming overnight. And that's all I'm, I'm saying the same thing with different words. So anyway, I love y'all. I just had to come on to, you know, encourage and say, and I'm hoping I'm encouraged. And I hope I'm not rubbing anybody the wrong way. You got to do it yourself. And when you fall, you got to get back up because the person doesn't fail if they keep on getting up and keep trying and keep fighting and keep pushing and keep pulling it ain't easy but nothing worth having ever is i love y'all if y'all stay through the whole video and if you've gotten this in the heart that i put it out here but thank you if you dislike it that's fine with me too because i understand everything people took in one or two ways and i'm i'm grown and i can accept it so anyway i love y'all and i will talk to y'all later